Hi guys, Darren from Venom Fluid Art. Thank you so much for joining me today. Um, what I thought I would do is a special video for everyone who wants to do a bloom but doesn't want to go out and spend money on untinted house paint, um, house paint for your pillow paint, your Joe Sonia's, um, Australian flow troll, all that sort of stuff before you actually practice it because you will scrape a whole heap even with all the good bits and pieces you're still going to scrape heaps and heaps and heaps of them while you're learning so I figured we could cheat and do a real simple way of doing a bloom that only requires two paints okay so these are just basic tube paints we've got montmart over here in australia it's only like six bucks a tube for metallic uh pebio so we've got some of those i've got joe sonia matisse which is a flow um atelier and for cell activator we will be using amsterdam so that is um oxide black mixed with water now the whole video on the cell activator is video number 86 so i'll put a link in the description and you can go back and watch that one this video is just on mixing the tube paint and we'll do a bloom with it so what i'm going to do is i'll just grab a color that'll do the flow move this stuff to one side grab our little tub so i'm going to grab some of this squirt some in now this stuff is actually quite thick uh, thin sorry because it's a, a flow type paint compared to say something like this atelier which is where's a container let's grab another one So that comes out quite thick if it had been in shot you'd have been able to see it that would have been been better but you'll see that's the atelier and that is the matisse flow so that's quite a bit thinner than what that is so what i'll do is mix up the flow one all I'm using is water because remember these are just practice ones that you're going to do on um, say little four inch tiles or something like that just to play with and practice a bloom so this squirt bottle just has basic water in it nothing else <clears throat> straight out the tap so I'm going to give that one squirt of water that a mix now I'm not worried about getting bubbles in or any of that sort of stuff because this is just to practice blooms having said that though they do dry quite well I'll show you the results in a second but We'll mix that in now you want it so that it's still thick and only just starts to run off your stick all right so that's probably just a little bit too thick so we'll add a tiny tiny squirt of water 
do a bit more of a mix. Yeah, all right. That should be pretty good for what we're going to do. So that's going to be for a bloom. Still globs just a little bit, but that'll be fine for what we're going to do. <clears throat> now the thickest stuff like this, I'm just going to use the same stick. It doesn't matter. Just going to give it one squirt of water. Now you'll notice that's harder to mix in sort of globs up and does all sorts of chunky bits everywhere but it will smooth out you just keep mixing and mixing and mixing it'll go into like a paste so just keep mixing 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 all right so that's way too thick still i'll give that another squirt now each one of them squirts is probably I don't know, maybe five mil. But just go a little bit at a time. Because if you add too much, you're going to have to add more paint. So we'll just mix it, mix it, mix it. Alright, that's starting to get there. I'll give that one more squirt. <clears throat> but if you do mix it and it's too thin don't stress just add a little bit more paint and it'll thicken it back up again for you all right so we'll just mix that up okay now that's starting to drizzle off Just about there. I'll probably add a little bit more water. I usually like my colours a lot thicker than most others do it anyway. So, everyone's different. But, That there is pretty good. Sort of just drips off. So it's still quite thick. So, what I'm going to do is mix up all these other colours. I won't bore you with having to go through all that. And we'll go do a bloom with it. Back in a sec. Okay, so what I've got is a four inch hex tile. Now, with the Shelly Art recipe, you'd usually use house paint for a pillow paint, which I usually put in sauce bottles. You don't need to do that because we're just playing, practicing how to actually do it. So what I'll do is use one of the colours as a pillow and then all the other colours we'll put on for the bloom. So I might pick uh, maybe this blue for the pillow. Now if you make one colour just a little bit thicker than all the others then It'll work great for a pillow paint. So just keep that in mind. It does help a bit. So what I'll do is. So this is quite thick. No big deal because it's all for practice. Could have been a little bit thinner, but it'll do for what we're doing. Oh, goober in it. Alright, 
do we'll put this color down we'll just wet that out <coughs> so all I'm doing is moving that over to the edges just so it can actually move like that then we just start mixing our mixed up colors throw them ones down so there's our first one don't like green but this pebio green yellow is an awesome color green love it now we'll put some of this down and there's a fluoro orange there it is of that here and there all right now this is great <clears throat> for practicing especially if you've just got yourself a mini blower you can use the mini blower to do it or you can blow it out by mouth entirely up to you I'll be using the mini blower pop some bubbles not that it really matters for what we're doing but it's good to practice now cell activator is the Amsterdam oxide black mixed with water to a consistency like that I don't know whether you can see it I'll come around to this side of the camera So it's quite thin, thinner than the other colours anyway. Roughly about two parts paint, one part water. Sometimes it's about three parts paint, one part water. It just depends. So we'll throw some of that down. When I'm using the mini blower, I prefer to use more cell activator than as if I'm blowing it out by mouth. Okay, mini blower. Just fan the cell activator out over the colors. that still a lot of cell activator in the middle no big deal grab a straw give it a blow
Okay. So the first thing you're going to notice is when you're using Australian flow troll and untended house paints and house pillow paints and things like that, you tend to get bigger cells, okay? With just tube paints and water, all your cells are a lot smaller. So what we'll do is zoom in on that. Up. All right, so you've got a whole heap of cells, but they're a lot smaller than when you're using flow troll and other stuff like that. <coughs> okay, what we'll do is give that a spin. Go for the center of the spinner. Let's check where it is. That's pretty close. You don't have to go super fast. Okay. So we pop that up. Scrape off underneath. Okay, so there you go. There's a basic bloom with just paint and water, nothing else. So it gives you something to practice with. You can actually throw some paint on, blow it out, you'll get a bloom. Um, and it, it, it'll give you a a chance to practice technique on actually blowing it out by mouth or using the little mini blower at different angles where it's going to sell up where it doesn't where you hit the pillow paint all them sorts of things when that dries it doesn't dry too bad but like i said it's nothing like using um your untended paints your fancy um, Australian flow trolls, things like that. Selectivator, you can use paint and water all day long. Works great. It's the other products that help keep it all together. Now you've got to remember, quite a few of those are reasonably cheap paints. So if you add too much water, they break up. You can cheat a little bit by adding a bit of Joe Sonia in with it and things like that and it holds it together but these are just strictly for practicing your blooms that way it's cheap easy you're not wasting a ton of money on all the other bits and pieces that you need i mean at the end of the day you might not actually even like doing blooms so no point spending hundreds of dollars on untinted paint and certain pillow paints and things like that if you know, you might not like doing them anyway. So, what I've got is... One I did the other day. Which is this one. So that's just paint and water nothing else compared to 
One that's done with Australian Flow Troll, untinted house paint, pigments, and that one's been resin, so. You can see the um, the cell activators held its lines really, really well on that. Compared to just paint and water where they start to fade away. I mean, that still looks pretty cool. Like, you could resin that and hang it on your wall or whatever. But, if you're actually going to sell it, you're better off to use the right stuff. So, I just thought this would be a cool video for anyone who wants to actually learn how to do blooms. Because you can just use cheap paint, bit of water, cheap tile, and you can practice it over and over again. You know, you're not happy with that? Scrape it. No big deal. You know, you want to have another crack at it, pick a different colour, different layering. It's all good. Just throw some paint down. At least this way you can have a bit of a practice without buying tons and tons of um, house paint. Then if you do like doing it and you're getting some pretty cool little results, by all means, go out and get some pillow paint. Don't bother with the um, untinted house paint to start with. Just try it on pillow paint. That way you can use... Just cheap pillow paint, whatever's cheap, preferably a low sheen or a satin. Have a bit of a play. Once you start getting a bit more confident with it, then step up to your untinted house paint. Because realistically, out of all the techniques, the bloom is probably one of the hardest you're going to get. <clears throat> you know... Sometimes it works, other times it doesn't. It's probably the most frustrating one you'll ever do. Next one would probably be swipes. So if you don't hold the, um, the swipe tool at the right angle, it's going to drive you nuts and you're going to dig in a pillow paint and do all sorts of crazy things with it. So... But this is mainly just for a bit of fun. You get to have a practice. Try different colored cell activators. So we'll throw a white on there. Throw a bit of purple. Throw some more black on top. And then just see what different results you get by playing with that as well. So grab a mini blower. Dick bits in the middle, grab your straw. When you blow through your straw, as you blow, start off shallow like this, and then move your head back as you're blowing. It widens it out for you. Then if you want to put some fancy little patterns through to practice those, just grab a skewer. Drag those through like that. 
give that a bit of a spin. Where did I put that little swap tool? There it is. Okay. Come around this way. So you've still got all your cells. You've got all your crazy patterns. But great fun, fun to practice with. So we'll throw that down. You know, then if you want to practice swipes or something like that, just grab some more colour while that's already down. You're going to use that as a pillow. Throw some other colour down on top of it. Grab a little swipe tool. This is Amsterdam Titanium White with just water mixed in. And then just let it do its thing. The little cells will start popping up. If you want to get tricky, you can get some black selectivator as well. Swipe black on. Grab your little straw. Grab your skewer. Drag some of that around in through there. Throw it down, give it a spin. where we swiped it so you can just keep practicing over and over and over again just keep going over the top of the same one that way you're using whatever paints there as a pillow paint works out a lot cheaper you know you want to practice your transfer swipes the stuff that's fallen off the side that you've spun off, just lay some down on it. That way you're not wasting paint all the time. Whatever's spun off the actual spinner, if you spin it, you can use for a transfer as well. Like so. So, there's a, quite a few little tips and tricks for you today. 
give it a go. It's loads of fun. It's cheap. And like I say, you can just keep practicing over and over again. Just add more paint, add more paint, give it a splat, whatever comes off, transfer scoop. Or throw it on and bloom it out again with whatever's come off. It's all practice. The more you do it, the easier it gets. And it's cheap to start with. You don't have to go and spend big bucks on fancy pigments, Australian flow troll, all that sort of stuff. Just use this. Nice and easy. Easy to get your hands on. You don't have to worry about import duties and all the other stuff. Try different paints that are in your country. You know, they're all different, so... Have a crack. It's good fun. Alright, if that was any help to you today, please hit the like, share and subscribe. Ring the notification bell. That way you get to see all the videos I produce as I release them. And thank you so much for joining me. So you guys have fun, take care, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.